It's a middleweight matchup between Chris Weidman and Uriah Hall. Tell us what you think is going to happen as an analyst. We have a striker, we have a grappler. Doesn't always play out that way, but what are you expecting to see in this? I'm expecting the grappler to try and go and make contact with his opponent. If he can make contact, he can drag the striker to the mat. I expect the striker to try and maintain range with his jab, with his kicks, to make this a stand-up affair. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? That knee might have landed there. So a combination of knees here. You don't see this all the time where a fighter will, will throw multiple knees, but if it's not broken, they'll fix it. There's no takedown threat. If there was a takedown threat, he would not be throwing so many knees. But there's no threat to get taken down, so he is just letting those knees fly. And there comes the separation now. Ooh, big shot land. Pretty good job staying patient as he lands the counter strike there. Strong work by Hulk. Well, you like the thought process to go to the counter. Ultimately, the execution not there. That's a miss. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, roundhouse kick, DC. That was a beautiful strike, and that is the most powerful kick that you can land in a fight. Checks that leg kick. Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. And now he lands a combination. Whoa! He's getting lit up right now, John. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Tags him with the left. Opponent swarming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some real good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. Oh, reversal here, DC. What a way to switch the position. Fantastic movement by the bottom fighter. Oh, all right, he's got the full mount now, DC, and he has proven to be a hard guy to buck off from this position. Oh, because he's so heavy. He keeps his weight down. He really does grind on you with his, with his bottom half. He doesn't do anything with his arm. His arms are free to punch. He's collecting you with his hips and his legs, making you make a determination as to whether or not you want to get grounded pounded into the mat or if you're going to give your back up where he will then start to chase chokes. A lot of energy expenditure defensively if you are the bottom fighter in this equation. And just like that, we have arrived at the start of our second round. Chris Wyden. Let's go, guys. Fight. And Uriah Hall. Oh, he slipped well there to avoid the left hand coming back. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Hall's got the tie clinch now. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combination. Oh, and he finally gets the takedown now. So what do they say? It, try, try again. If, if at first you don't succeed, you try, try again. And this guy is the poster boy for that saying, because he shot many takedown attempts and he finally has secured one. All 
All right, a good ground and pound by him here, certainly staying busy, and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective, to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. Got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by what? All right, side control now. Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here. Just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on it. Over and over, these guys are doing things that you see in every jiu-jitsu gym around the country. 48 total strikes. Oh! 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 Like that. Back to the feet! Oh, nice right hand. Oh, big knee! is blocked. Ooh. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Wow! Oh, he's hurt, he's gone! Wow! Oh my goodness, what a fight. A near-perfect strike to end the fight and end the night for his opponent, who candidly may not have even seen that shot coming. So just the way he drew it up, exactly what he told us during fight week, played out here on fight night. He found a little opening in his opponent's defense and barged right through it to get the big knockout win. Well, hard to perform much better than he did tonight. A huge knockout under the lights. They'll be talking about that one for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan McLeod is going to stop in this contest at four minutes, 21 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Uriah Patton And there is the man of the moment, and what a moment this must be like for a professional athlete.